What's up, y'all? I had the craziest night last night. You know? See, uh, I got this youth program that I go to. And I'll tell you the story. Well, the story starts starts off as alright. You know, back in the days I was in trouble and shit and you know, had the, the case workers come out and recommend you know, me and my siblings to this program called, called Handy, Helping Abuse Neglected Dependent Youth. And you know, one of the dudes there, you know, a, a brother, he uh kinda like became a uh, like a father figure or something like that to me and you know, really helped me expose my potential and shit like that. That was like years ago. I'll be getting to college and all that. And it's and I this program like you no know, it deals with you know it's you no know, helping the youth, helping uh you know the down the dogs in the community. Bunch of black kids basically. And uh it's, it's a non profit organization and the way that we way, 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 way that he you know helps fund the program is you no know, basically he has to you know, go out to Lots of functions and, and seminars and meetings and stuff with a bunch of other rich people, a bunch of other rich white folk and stuff, and they'll you know, basically sell themselves and you know, ask, ask for money and stuff like that. You know, so it goes like that. But um, last night, okay, uh, I had uh, found out that uh, me and me and my home, me and my other homies that's in this program, we both won. We both won a, won a contest where I mean, we had like poetry and stuff we had written about the program and you know, about whatever's in our hearts, what's going on, and stuff like that. And um, uh, some of the, the the major funders they you know they liked it, so they had a uh, you know, pick dars. And um, one of the major funders she was dying, and you know, she uh, you know, felt like she wanted to pass on a legacy, you know, of, of helping people and stuff and. I guess my poem had best represented that, so she had cho chosen my poem to, you know, continue on, you know, that, that legacy or whatever. So last night we went to this, um, this little, this like big ass house, like a mansion, you know, um, two people stayed there though. It's in this like real rich community and shit. And, you know, like, it's just like, the whole, probably ain't gonna see no color in that thing, but I mean, it was, I mean, that, that, that's how it looked though. When I got there, so I saw, I saw my homies, I saw my homegirls and stuff. We was getting ready. My homegirls, they was gonna dance to this little, um, um, organized dance and stuff. It's real cool. And me and my homies, we were supposed to, you know, display our poems and tell what it, tell what it was about. You know, so when we get there and then we see that, you know, there's, there's like a whole bunch of other old white folks there and. No, we we ain't uh no get a chance to meet him just yet. The uh, only other color person we seen that was the only other black person we seen that was like a, just a dude cleaning up. You know, he was I saw him was like sweeping, cleaning up, cleaning the pool and wiping down counters and stuff. He was the he was the butler. That was the only only other black face there. You know, you know and, and that day that kind of had me like what? I mean, I, it's not like I ain't expect to see it, but. You know, I've been in college for a while, and I haven't you know, been doing my public speaking for the community in, in a while. You know, I've you know, just been doing my studies, trying to keep my grades up and stuff, but it's been a while since I've I seen some, some shit like that. You know, and, I, and I'm in a school where, where it's, I mean, there ain't that much color in, in it either. You know, pretty much the only one, two, three black people out, out of the classroom are 60, you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, I gotta live with that shit every day. So I mean, so seeing that, seeing that brother there, just so um, no sweeping and stuff, picking up at the white folks, you know, kind of like brought me back to reality. I kind of forgotten about. It. I mean, not forgotten about it, but I just, I mean, I ain't seen it in so long. I was like, it kind of scared me again a little bit. But well, anyway, you know, nighttime comes and me and my homeboys, we stand, we stand by our poems, you know, you know, so we can, you know, help explain it. In case anybody has, has a red up on yeah. No, no, then the shit starts. No, the people they start come the, the white old white folks they start coming up and no, they kinda like glance at our poems, but they don't even look a brother in the, in my eyes, you know what I'm saying? No, 
Well, out of, out of about like 60, 70 people that walked by, probably like a, just a few of them just looking in our eyes and said, hey, 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 knowing all that other bullshit. And, you know, then, I mean, the time comes where, I mean, I got to present my poem. You know, I have to, you know, ex- express that. I mean, you know, once again, I sell myself so that me and these other ghetto you can you know, get the funding that, that we need to you know, help you know, get them funding for college or or food get them for some, some food cars some gas cars and you know, help I mean help fund, fund the kids for I mean whatever whatever is necessary for them to continue living on and stand motivated you know whatever can help them and this is this a non-profit organization, the only way we can get this is like, you know, begging the them, begging the them crackers and shit like that, you know what I'm saying? And I mean, this, and it's just like shit that that irks me. You know, and, I, and, and doing my speech, I mean, I had to, I mean, like, just put on a pretty face and shit. And, it, I'm, sure, I'm, I'm thinking it's probably the last time I ever do this shit, because I mean, I, I mean, after that, you know, every, I mean, Whatever I told in my story, it was making all them white folks who, who cry and, you know, come wanting to shake my hand and all that. And I mean, at least I mean, I know there was, I mean, just almost no sincerity in, in, in any of the shit they did anyway. So I don't care how much they cry, you know what I'm saying? Because I mean, if they, I mean, it was like that, they never strolled through the hood and, you know, see what was going on. But I mean, they got fear in their heart, man. They ain't trying to see what's up with us. I could just tell that. They ain't, I mean, I had, and another thing too, I came in that meeting with a, with a scully and a t-shirt on, you know what I'm saying, everybody else in business suits, I don't give a damn about, you know, putting no suit on, you know what I'm saying, cause I mean, it, I feel like, you know, if I got a, you know, you know, take off, whatever, I mean, I feel comfortable in, that I might as well just take off my skin then, shit, cause, cause I mean, I, I feel, I mean, if, even if I got a suit on, I mean, I'm still, I'm still another brother, I know, and I know people talking about, you know, you, you make yourself or what you are, what, you, you make yourself, you know what I'm saying, and I understand that, but, but, shit, that, that ain't no fake bone in my body, I'm gonna be 100% real when I'm coming at you, with some, you know, whenever I'm talking with you, you know what I'm saying, but, just for the sake of the program, when I was doing my speech, I, I couldn't, I couldn't you know, say something outrageous in front of all this white folks. Cause if I did, then then my program with I mean, and Kirk and them, they they the program would have been you no know, probably closed down. If I told them that was who they really were, you know what I'm saying the program would have been closed down. But I mean, I know if I was representing myself, I wouldn't you know have none of that shit going on. But just I mean, just what hurts me is that you no, know, I mean, I mean even after like I mean so-called slavery and then motherfuckers talk about even after civil rights with Malcolm and, and Martin and, and Huey knew it and all that East. and even after I mean we got a so-called I mean black president or whatever and he, who, who's supposed to relate to this but I mean what, whatever what. but even though after, after all that I see that in 2009 goddamn, I still gotta beg, beg these white folks for some money Kirk still gotta go out there and prostitute himself to I mean, get the funding for these black kids and stuff. We still gotta ask these motherfuckers, man. And that's just some, some shit that is, is, is hurting. And, you know, some people talk about, you know what I'm saying? I mean, if, if that's what I gotta do to make sure that program is running, then I'm gonna do it. I mean, after all this time, this is, this is the conclusion we come to. After all the success we did, we still gotta know, basically just, uh, tiptoe for the ass. Not speak the truth. We still can't be ourselves with these motherfuckers, man. It just pissed me off, and I ain't trying to have none of that for my people. We come so far. You know what I'm saying? For us to be still have to be doing this. And I'm aspiring to be a social worker and all that. And I'm, I'll be damned if I gotta do this just to keep a damn program running. Fuck that. Fuck that shit.